The story begins in 1998, teenage amateur astronomer Leo observes an unidentified object in the night sky. He sends a picture to astronomer Dr. Marcus, who realizes it is a comet on collision course with Earth. It was still millions of kilometers away from the Earth and it may take many months to reach the Earth. Marcus saved this information in a disk and he wants to convey this information to his seniors, but unluckily his car gets into an accident and he dies on the spot. One year later, a journalist investigates Secretary of the Treasury over his connection with Ellie, whom she assumes to be a mistress. But she gets confused when she finds him and his family loading a boat with large amounts of food and other survival gear. It seems like the officers were getting ready to go somewhere while leaving this place. Journalist was returning to her home but suddenly many cars surround her. Actually she is apprehended by the FBI and taken to meet the president, who persuades her not to share the story in return for a prominent role in the press conference he will arrange. She subsequently discovers that ELE is actually an acronym ELE which stands for Extinction Level Event. Two days later, President announces that a comet is on course to impact the Earth in roughly one year and could cause humanity's extinction. It weighs 500 million tons, our Earth will be completely destroyed if it collapses. He reveals that the United States and Russia have been constructing a spacecraft to transport a team to alter the comet's path with nuclear bombs. The spacecraft launches a short time later with a crew of six members. Now, crew of astronauts has reached the comet's surface, they start drilling a deep hole in which bomb is to be planted. This comet is rotating, and the astronauts are still safe from the sun. But then comet turns around and brings them in front of the sun, due to excessive heat and light. The eyes of one of their companion get spoiled and another propelled into space by an explosive release of gas. They somehow manages to plant the bomb and returns to their spaceship. As they detonate the bomb, their spaceship suffers a powerful wave shock and gets damaged due to it. Their mission also gets failed, because the meteor is now broken into two parts and both the parts are rapidly moving towards the Earth. As the president gets this news, he gets dejected and announces the mission's failure in a television address. Martial law is imposed and a lottery selects 8 lakh Americans to join 2 lakh pre-selected individuals in deep underground shelters, there is food for almost two years. Leo's family receives a call, to inform that they are already selected for this program, because Leo was first who discovered this comet. But Leo's girlfriend Sarah and her family didn't select it for this program. Leo goes to his girlfriend and shows her two rings and says let us get married, after it you will become a part of our family and you will be able to move with us. Having no other option she gets married to Leo. Later, the government buses arrive to take the selected peoples with them. Sarah's name was now on the list, but her parents' name were not listed. Due to it, her parents can't leave with them and Sarah doesn't want to go without them, Leo tries to make her understand but she refuses to accompany him and remains with her parents. Now Leo have to leave unwillingly. Leo reaches the place with his family but he refuses to go further, he says I am going to bring Sarah back and soon I will return, then he leaves from there. There are only 12 hours until the small meteor collides with our planet, the astronaut spaceship is shown, they decide to move towards bigger part of the meteor. They still have four nuclear missiles and if they do a blast on that meteor, it may be divided into many small fragments. But this blast will also take their life, even then they were ready to sacrifice their lives. On the Earth, Leo reaches to Sarah's home but she was not there, then Leo leaves to search out his girlfriend. There was a lot of traffic on the roads because people were leaving their homes. But none of them knows where are they going because there isn't any place left on earth that is safe for them to escape. Leo eventually finds Sarah and then her parents make her agree to go with Leo. Then the journalist is shown and the helicopter arrives to take her because she was pre-selected but she gives up her seat on the evacuation helicopter to a colleague and her young daughter. After it, she travels to the beach where she reconciles with her estranged father. Then we see, the small comet hits the Atlantic Ocean, creating a mega tsunami that destroys much of the east coast of the United States and also hits Europe and Africa, resulting in millions of fatalities, including Sarah's parents, journalist and her father. Leo was escaping with Sarah and her baby brother to a high mountain, 
and many other peoples were also rescuing their lives. On the other side, astronauts are shown moving toward the huge comet. They were speaking to their families one last time, because they know that they will also lose their lives in blasting the comet. They say goodbye to their loved ones and execute their plan. Big Comet is blown into smaller pieces which burn up harmlessly in the Earth's atmosphere. If that massive comet had collided with the Earth, all living things gets perish, like the dinosaurs died out many thousands of years ago. After the waters recede, President speaks to a large crowd at the damaged United States Capitol, encouraging them to remember those lost as they begin to rebuild. I hope that you liked the video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.